Charles, Ashley, Brian, please come to the boardroom. It's happening. It's me this time. I'm the one with the good hair. You please. I've been through two pregnancies on TV. Really? I'm the one who looks like the fried chicken colonel. So you guys wanted to see us? We wanted you to be the first to see the big ABC 3340 giveaway. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's in the box? Find out when we reveal the big giveaway next week. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 22nd of April. I'm James Spann. Pretty nice weather today. Temperatures feeling so nice. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at 5 a.m. That's the uh, Inverness Skycam. Things are nice and quiet and along U.S. Highway 280. There's the Coleman Sky Cam down below US 278 and in downtown Fayette. It's a very calm early morning. Around the nation, most of the really active weather is up in the northern branch of the jet stream where they've got more winter weather woes up there. But down here, the air is dry, nice and cool this morning. Upper 40s and low 50s. We'll expect a high in the mid to upper 60s today. Still below average. We ought to be well up in the 70s this time of the year. And around the nation, pretty cool. Uh, really hard to find any warmth here in late April. And speaking of that, look at the winter storm warnings up for parts of Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. It's the winter that just won't go away. But down here, things are quiet. In the warm sector, maybe a few severe storms later today and tonight over parts of Oklahoma and Kansas, a small slight risk. Tomorrow, there is no formal severe weather risk, just low 5% probabilities from Texas up into the Ohio Valley region. And on day three, which is Wednesday, there could be some thunder here, but no organized severe weather is expected, and that's a good thing. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, suggesting amounts of about one-half inch here. Let's check modeling. This is the uh, OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And again, you can see a pretty good trough up in the northwestern United States, and that's going to kick up some snow for parts of Wyoming and South Dakota and that colder air up there. But around here, the air's dry. Uh, the NAM is printing 65. The GFS is at 68 today. Uh, partly sunny, just nice, low humidity. Tomorrow, weather warms up. We should be in the mid-70s tomorrow, getting back to where we should be. Uh, the weather stays dry. Well, again, partly sunny is the deal. And then Wednesday, you can see the, the main energy way north of here. And uh, down below that, a band of showers and storms approaching. And uh, obviously, that is not a real severe weather look there. Um, we'll expect mid-70s, a chance of showers, maybe some thunder by afternoon, but certainly no severe weather. Uh, Wednesday night, just after midnight, the showers fizzle as the front moves on down to the south. And then for Thursday, we are dry. Thursday looks like a beautiful day, sunny, uh, low 70s. We'll start the day in the 40s, just gorgeous, nice sunny weather. Friday, winds begin to veer to the south. We'll be in the mid-70s, but the sky should be sunny as the air stays dry. So Thursday and Friday look good. Now, Saturday, as we start the weekend, a little energy approaching from the west and down below that uh, evidence of a few showers on Saturday. Not a rainy, washout kind of day, but maybe some rain at times. The high should be in the 70s, so if you got something outdoors, just be aware some showers are possible. And really, Sunday, kind of the same thing. Maybe a few widely spaced showers, but uh, you know, widespread rain not expected because there's no, no real dynamic support. And uh, we warm up. Thickness values are coming up. A chance we'll see 80 on Sunday. And Monday of next week, the same deal, a moist air mass, but nothing to really squeeze out the you know, widespread rain. So uh, a chance of showers on Monday. We'll check a little later here. This is May the 6th. That might be a, a strong storm type deal, if by chance this is correct. And on May 7th, the following day, the end of the forecast period, we turn cooler as that rain moves on out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget, if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.